If you're new to our channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell below to notify you in our next video. everyone welcome to our channel in today's video we are going to show you an easy tutorial on how to use StreamYard on iPhone what is a StreamYard it is a live streaming studio in your browser wherein you can live stream directly to Facebook YouTube LinkedIn and other platforms is StreamYard free Yes, it has both free and paid versions of the product. The pricing for paid versions for StreamYard starts at $25 per month. And it has 20 hours free per month. Yes, that's right, StreamYard is free to start with their branding and is limited to 20 hours of streaming per month to one platform. Does StreamYard work on phones? Absolutely yes, you can use StreamYard on your phone from your browser. You don't need to download an app or anything. Your guest can also join on their phone. Remember, for Android, we recommend the Chrome browser. For iOS, only Safari will work. And please take note, iOS only has video on version 12.2 plus. Older versions are audio only. For the best possible experience, we recommend that you and your guests both use a laptop or desktop. Live streaming is an outstanding way to engage your audience on YouTube. Are you ready to grow your YouTube channel with StreamYard? Let's start! Here is our easy tutorial on how to use StreamYard on iPhone. Step number one, go to Safari. And type StreamYard.com. Step number two. Click Get Started. And enter your email address. To create your account on StreamYard, there is no password needed. Just enter your email address and they will send you a login code. Now, tap Get Login Code. Email sent. Now, please check your email and get the login code. Press Home button and go to Yahoo Mail app. Open the message from StreamYard, copy the login code, go back to Safari, and paste the six-digit code. Step number 4. Click or tap Login and Onward. You have now created your StreamYard account. Now, let's add a destination. Select YouTube channel. If it's your first time to use the StreamYard, sign in with Google to continue. Tap Next and Allow. Take note, use your YouTube Gmail account. If 
it's your first time to live stream, enable live streaming first on YouTube. To do this, follow these steps. First, click open YouTube live dashboard. Then click get started. Just tap continue to studio. After you continue to studio, click start later date and click classic streaming. Click Stream Now Classic. Click Return to YouTube Studio, tap Videos and Live. Here you can see that there is an upcoming live stream. It means my YouTube channel is now enabled for live streaming on YouTube. And because this is just a sample live stream, I will save the visibility into private. It means I am the only one who can see or watch this live stream. Click the button on the lower left side and go back to StreamYard.com. Now that the live streaming is enabled, click Connect again, then click Allow. Your YouTube channel was connected. You're all set. Step number five. Click create a broadcast. Tap this icon and type your title, description, privacy, set schedule and add your thumbnail. After this, let's go to step number 6. Click Create Broadcast. We created a broadcast. Now, tap the three dots and select the activity you want to do. If you want to share the link of your live stream, just click view on youtube and continue to youtube tap share and copy the link now you can share your live stream now let's go back to Streamyard. just click the home button and safari to start broadcast studio after clicking the three dots, click Enter Broadcast Studio. Now you can check your camera and microphone. To enter the studio, allow the StreamYard to access your microphone and camera. Here you can set your camera off 
and your sound to mute. You can edit your avatar as well. Just upload a photo from your photo library. Position and size your image and click Apply. And tap Done. And now you can type your display name. After you've set everything, tap Enter Broadcast Studio. We are now in Broadcast Studio. Here you can navigate all the settings inside the studio. From inviting guests, layout selection, Posting comment Broadcast info And many more And the step number 7 Click go live We are on live streaming. To check, let's go to YouTube app. Yes, we are on live. Let's go back to StreamYard and let's try to do the banners, brand, and comments. In banners, just tap the three dots to edit and save. For brand, just tap the brand color and select. Some of these are not available for free versions. Now let's try to post a comment. YouTube doesn't support comments on private videos. When you're done, just click end and tap end broadcast. And leave the stream yard. Just click leave and you're done. We're done! Thank you for watching!